Welcome to another Dark Nook video. In this video, I'm redoing the mummified fairy corpse. I already made this skeleton, but unfortunately when I reviewed the footage, most of it was just of the back of my hand, so <laughs> take two. I use these fake butterfly wings. You can find these in the flower section of most craft shops, either made from feathers or fabric. The ones made from feathers are firmer, and the ones made from fabric are best if you uh, have a pose where the wings have to bend. I start by cutting apart the skeleton. Every joint that you want to bend has to be cut. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, ankles, everything has to be cut apart. I also cut the spine so they can give the skeleton a bit of a hunched over appearance. Thanks for checking out my video, and please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment down below. Once everything is cut apart, I start to glue it back together with hot glue. This lets me position the pieces and make adjustments as the glue dries. I only use a little bit of hot glue at this stage in case I want to change it later. Once I'm sure of the position, I'll add more glue. And don't worry about the glue showing through the surface because that'll be covered up later. As the glue cools and hardens, it takes about 8 to 10 seconds. So you have a little work time, but you also don't have to sit there and hold a piece forever waiting for the glue to set. Once I have the skeleton in the position I like, I start to skin it. I take bits of cotton dipped in latex and spread it over the bones. I use tweezers to stretch and pull the cotton thin so in places it sticks to the bones and other places it tears. This lets it take the shape of the skeleton and really show that texture through the surface. Now don't worry about tearing holes in the latex because that will just add to the look. You want some rips and holes so bone shows through. It makes it look even more like old rotten skin. As you can see, I decided to reposition the legs. You might also notice I'm using this little bit of wood to work on. The thing about latex is it's sticky. It wants to stick to whatever it's touching as it dries. But it won't stick very well to this bit of wood. And since I have to let it dry several times throughout this process, it's good to have something to set it on that it's not going to really want to stick to. I'd use a piece of plastic, but that might make a smooth texture on the skin that I don't want. This wood has just enough of a rough surface that it won't make a texture that'll show through when you paint it. So at this point, it's just a matter of spreading the latex skin over the whole skeleton in little bits, stretching it and pulling it so that it looks stretched and that it looks like it's pulling against the bone. And when I start working on the face, I use a needle to make holes for the eyes and to shape the fine details. This requires tiny bits of cotton. They tend to want to stick to the latex that's already drying on the tweezer tips. So be sure to wipe those off regularly or you're going to have a problem with little bits and stuff sticking to your tools.
This tinted latex gets darker as it dries. So you'll notice the skin suddenly getting darker. That just means I let it sit for an hour or so, so it could dry. When I'm finished with the skin, 
that's when I attach the wings. I attach them with hot glue, and once they're good and firmly stuck, I go over the top of that with more latex and cotton. I pull the latex out over the edges so it looks more like the wings are growing out of the skin instead of just stuck on the back. Then it's on to painting. I start with a bunch of brown and black washes. Now because cotton and latex just eats paint, it absorbs it like a paper towel. So I have to wait between layers to allow the paint to dry fully. Otherwise, it just starts to look like a muddy mess. The colors just keep mixing together. Now you also want to make sure to turn it over and check every side and every part of this thing and make sure every surface is painted. I also add a little extra paint to the wings and trimmed up the edges with scissors. Once the dark colors are dry, I take some of the original tan color and dry brush the high points to really make the texture details pop. And when that's done, I glue on some hair with rubber cement, which bonds great with latex. Now I just want a little bit of hair on this one, like most of it's fallen out because this is old and rotten. And once the hair is done, I stick a straight pin in the back and mount it in a shadow box display. And here it is, all finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and thanks for checking out my channel.